Hi everyone, welcome back to, um, what is this called? Welcome back to training time. Fergie is almost level 15, and I'm not really going to be using her for training time because I've already used her for one, so I'm gonna pick another horse. Please be Max. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. I just have to do this one race, and then she'll be level 15, and I'll actually have her trained. I can't remember what, what level she was in the last episode but i did a lot of training with my club okay yay yay yay! i'm so excited she's almost done <laughs> yes oh god we did it guys yes do i actually have no food you have got to be joking i don't have any food for my horse i know for a fact i have to train oh my gosh so sad bradley and vera they're just hanging out over here I know I have to train Lupita. Some people really requested that I trained Lupita. So why do I have so many level sixes? It doesn't make sense. That's when I quit. Okay, then we have this Connemara. Only level two. That is tragic. We're doing Lupita because I feel like if I don't, she's going to end up not ever trained. But this is the outfit. I feel like it's very awkward on Lupita. Like it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't really go with her, but it just i don't know i feel like it's just not her type at all i could definitely see this outfit on any other horse should i train one of my lusitanos lupita's like what the heck lupita i'm sorry is bradley a boy or a girl i think bradley's a boy i put a post on my instagram saying reveal your star stable themed secrets Basically, I said if you want me to show your username in the video, then put a horse emoji in your little message. So I put that my secret was that I've sold three horses, and usually I just tell people that I've sold like one, when really it's three, and I actually want to sell more. But that's, that's a really lame secret compared to what I've seen. I say to others how I care about my horses without stable care, but in reality, I never do. You know, who has time to go care for every single horse in their stable? It really doesn't make sense to me. There's 18 horses, like, max in your stable, so like, how? I know this is wrong, but I got six months of Star Rider. For free wow that's that's a little crazy i don't even know how you would ever do that <sighs> interesting i have sold don't choke 17 horses because they were simply horrifying 17 17 horses are you serious oh no that's that's definitely at least 10,000 star coins. That's that's my guess. When I play the Soul Rider missions, I only ride my starter horse and ride in realistic gates. I also have my own Soul Rider outfit in tack just for the missions. That actually sounds like a really fun way to do the quest. I think it's cool that you have your own Soul Rider outfit. Oh my <laughs> just kidding i'm not I'm, I'm i'm doing fine i'm doing fine guys lusitanos are kind of hard to ride that's what i've noticed i don't know why but i just always have trouble riding my lusitano it's weird okay i know it's weird i secretly buy star coins every week but very little amounts like 200 to seem broke do you know how many star coins or basically money you're wasting by doing that if you bought a big pack if you're buying that many you could be saving so many star coins and money by do like doing that what my main account had never won a championship after seven years honestly that's very sad you'd think you'd win one as a newbie because usually when you're a noob you get put in the noob groups and you know it's a lot easier but i'm sorry i'm really sorry I've sold two horses and said that I'm a boy for a month, but I'm a girl. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I have a lot of accounts. Okay, I relate to this. I used to say, oh, I only ever get on my main account and 
you know this is the only one i use when really i actually have a lot more alt accounts than you think and they're, they're not star riders so don't go crazy on me and being like you need to give away all your accounts give them to people who deserve them oh my gosh like don't don't go off they they're just you know on other servers and i just kind of go on them to screw around when I was really interested in learning Spanish, I'd go on Dark Star and start saying, Soy Violet Flower Garden! Soy Violet Flower Garden! Me and my friends go about criticizing people's outfits and tack. XX. All I have to say about that is, if you guys do that, you should start some kind of star stable show. You know they have a show in real life that's called What Not to Wear, and they pay people to change their entire wardrobe they pay them to delete their clothes and I, I say delete their clothes like it's star stable but get rid of their clothes and then you know buy new ones so i mean someone should start that in star stable where if someone doesn't like their outfit or something they should give them some kind of star coin code and be like here get rid of those clothes and buy a new outfit and get a makeover if you think clothes are really that bad that you'd want to do that you know it's a good idea if i do say so myself i join role plays but then i get bored and then i lie that i have to go to eat <sighs> okay i've done the same thing before i've lied a lot that I, oh i just have to go eat and then i never come back and you know it's fine it's fine when i don't want to hang with people i play hide and seek and then instead of hiding I call for pickup. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. Should I expose my secret? I mean, when I have to film something and people, other people can't be in it, I'll say, oh, I have to call for pickup. And so, you know how when you call for pickup, you disappear? Well, I ignore them. But don't worry, I take people off of my ignore list. Some people were scared, saying, do you keep people on there forever? And I'm like, no. After I'm done filming, I take them off. But then I had to mass delete people because I ignored so many people, so then I started deleting people off my friends list and freaked out. It was not- it was just not a good day at all. I like to dance in the shower. Okay, <laughs> at first- okay, so at first I thought they meant in real life, and I was going to be like- I, I thought I said only star stable, but then I realized that they meant in the home stable, and I was like, oh. So I kind of put someone annoying on ignore, but I'm saying it's a glitch. Okay, that's actually a good excuse because there's actually an ignore glitch. It's real. I mean, I don't think it exists anymore. Some people, you couldn't see other people for some reason, even if they weren't on ignore. I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but it was for a while. So club members would be like, wait, you ignored me? And then they'd be like, no, but really it wasn't like, it, I'm serious they did not ignore each other they sent proof and everything also star stable promotes ignoring because there's a reason why there's an ignore feature like if someone's annoying you they would rather have you put the person on ignore than go to support and say this person's being really annoying and blah 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 and then it's like sending chats and stuff it's it's easier if they're not really breaking the rules if they're just you know being annoying to just put them on ignore i buy levels to train my horses but people think <laughs> i train them by races and i don't tell them the only reason i'm laughing is because i've done this before and then maddie asked me she was like wait do you already have the club horse trained and i said yeah and she was like how and i said oh oh i've just been doing the races every day you know i just do all my races and she's like no you did not I only will usually buy the highest levels because I'm so impatient that they take forever. Sometimes I stalk people, then run at them screaming, FBI, you are under arrest. I was pretending to be banned from chat. Why didn't Star Stable have some feature to hide all the players? Because it, se it seems like this is some kind of recurring thing where people don't want they don't want to interact with other players sometimes because, you know, they, they just don't want to talk. I don't know, we should be able to hide other players. I like to intimidate level ones by riding my best horse and wearing really fancy clothes and tack. Yes, I know I'm mean. <laughs> okay, you know, 
I don't know if it's really intimidating them because it, I think it's just making them see the cool clothes and tack you can get in horses and then they'll be like, wow, I want to be Star Rider, I want to be a bigger level. Like, I don't think they'd really feel intimidated. I'm scared of the dino in Dino Valley and I'm so embarrassed because of it. <laughs> okay, sorry for laughing, but like, <laughs> it's, oh, that makes me wonder, do you get scared, like, if you go to a museum and there's, you know, dinosaur bones, like a big dinosaur? I mean, it, it is a big dinosaur. It is a big dinosaur. I've sold a horse before, and a few months later, I was trying to find it, but realized I sold it. Okay, that's actually kind of sad, because, okay, you know what else is sad? Me trying to maneuver this horse. But that is sad because that means you regretted selling the horse. I don't actually take care of my horses unless I need to. That's me, as you can tell. I followed someone around out of boredom. LOL. Okay, you know, as a noob, I did that and people would actually notice and get mad. I sold only one horse, but I lied to my cousin that somebody stole my horse. Wow, what a cruel world. <laughs> I accidentally deleted my starter clothes. The first question I have is, how do you accidentally delete your starter clothes? I don't, I don't understand. I don't even want to do the rabbit race because I know I'm gonna fail on this horse because I can't even maneuver on this horse. See, I'm already missing rabbits. I feel like this is just too hard with this horse. This is why I should actually care for my horses instead of leaving them sad. I just read a comment actually that was like exposing SSO YouTubers for not caring for their horses and I'm like, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that do care for their horses like Sylvie Miststream. She takes great care of her horses and you know, there's people like me who abuse their heart, their, their horse, their horses. We abuse the horses. I glitch into forbidden areas, in parentheses. I know everyone does, lol. Okay, that's false. Some people- Oh, I forgot I already did Marley. That's so awkward. I did Marley on Fergie. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> bye, Marley. Not everyone glitches into forbidden areas. All I know is I w one time I wasn't in a forbidden area. Well, actually, this has happened like three times now, where I'm not even in a forbidden area, but it'll give me- like the message you have been sent home because you're in a forbidden area and i'm like no i was not in a forbidden area i was just doing a quest and i was you know it just really confused me okay this one is not sso related but we're we're going to be reading it anyway one time i peed in mist which went on the floor and blamed it on my dog i don't even know what to say okay we're level seven <laughs> great Excuse me? I said that someone logged on that I haven't seen in years while in a club event when really I wanted to play with my friend. You know, good for you. Sometimes club events can be very boring and when, when you want to hang out with a friend, you want to hang out with a friend and friendship is very important and you know friendship with your club is really important but if the event is not going well you know just feel free to leave i secretly oh my gosh hate my club but got a crush on the owner i i'm kind of just sitting here in in disbelief you know oh uh, Oh. In 2014, I used a speed engine to run faster so I could only finish quests faster. Continued. Ended up getting a warning, although I was a hella noob. Didn't even do races. Does that even exist anymore? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. What I'm surprised about is that you didn't get banned. You just apparently got a warning. You'd think they'd actually ban you. I used to search for Starcoin hacks. Uwu. Um, be careful. <laughs> I promised my friend to join her club, 
but I'm staying in the one I'm in right now because hers sucks. <laughs> okay, uh, I would recommend to ask your friend if she wants to join the club that you're in right now because if yours is like better than her club, then maybe she'll enjoy it too. And I mean, some people are just naturally not good club owners. You can't be good at everything. Like I know when I was a club owner, I made a million mistakes. And, and you know, if her club isn't right for you, then you shouldn't join it. You don't have to join a club just because someone is your friend. I don't read quest dialogues unless it's main story quests. That is very relatable. I sold spirit. <laughs> I I sold spirit the day I bought him. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of star coins that you wasted in one day. I just, you know, I'm going to be honest, I really want to sell my spirit as well. I really I never ride him. I really don't like him. Like going to be honest, I totally I totally get where you're coming from, but in the same day, really like in the <sighs> I've been in all closed areas possible and I often joke as to why I'm not banned. Wow. I'm I'm surprised that you're not banned either. My friends like to be spirit and walk in more land for the starter people from Sophie Tide Forest. Wow, you know, that's actually you're making the game fun for noobs. They're they're going to look back and be like Wow, when I was a noob, I saw spirit walk through Moorland and it was amazing. I used to tell newbies at Moorland that SSO released unicorns at Fort Pinta. <gasps> okay, this one's a little more sad because then they're going to go to Fort Pinta and there's not going to be any unicorns. I mean, there's actually some people who are completely against unicorns on this game. They don't want it to be fantasy. If you want fantasy, you should go on Roblox and go on that horse game. There's there's a lot of unicorns and stuff. You can be you can be a Pegasus, you can fly. Wow. Sometimes when I don't want to talk to someone, I'll pretend to be AFK until they go away. You know, once again, that's why they should have a hide all players feature because it feels kind of rude to have to ignore people when you don't feel like dealing with people at the time. I bought Star Rider without my parents knowing because they didn't want to get it for me. Okay, uh, don't do what Sasha Silverside did, kids. My SSO secret is that I met my SSO BFF IRL, then she became my girlfriend after meeting in real. I mean, congratulations. Sometimes I pretend I'm in the Bobcats. You know, that actually sounds fun. I think they're the coolest club in Star Stable. I once got stuck in my stable and it took me 30 minutes to realize I could call for pickup. Wow. I've got chat banned 11 times. I'm chat banned now and suspended once. You should have added the details of what you did. I would love to hear it. I sold a horse just because I wanted Jorvik shillings. There's better ways to get your Vic shillings. I, oh, I sometimes roleplay by myself. I think we've all done this at one point. Your face. I accidentally bought 30k star coins with my parents' credit card. How do you do that? I want to name a horse Doo Doo. Okay, if you do do that, make sure it's a brown horse. Like, make sure it's like a bay. I'm in love with Star Stable BFF. Good luck. Good luck for the future. I secretly hate my club. I mean, you know, there's a lot of other clubs out there, so if you really hate your club, I kind of wish Anne died. Just me. <laughs> Honestly. I, okay, I thought they were going to have Alex die, so that's what I thought at first, when they had Alex go back. I did not think they were going to make Anne die after we've been waiting for so long. I used to join a club, leave it, and then blame the owner for kicking me out. Usually it's the other way around though. Usually it's people saying that 
Um, usually it's people saying that they left when they actually got kicked out because they're embarrassed to say that they broke a rule or something in the club and then they ended up getting kicked out. I like to guess people's level, then click on them to see if I was right. It's kind of creepy. Honestly, I've never done that before. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, my friend was AFK. Mm -mm. I ate off her toes. Wow. I'm sorry for your friend. I'm sorry that she has to be friends with someone who would eat off her toes. <laughs> I once snuck into Golden Hills before I unlocked it. Oh, wow. One time I tried to get my brothers into Golden Hills, I had this great idea that if I put them in a group with me and invited them to a race while I was in Golden Hills and they couldn't get into it, that you know, they would get in too, but then they just got a warning and got sent home and couldn't even, couldn't even do the race. Like, I, I didn't, like, I didn't even know that would happen, and my brothers got really mad at me because they thought I banned them on the game, but I didn't, you know. I almost did, but, you know, not quite. Those are all of the secrets I will be reading. That was actually really fun to train while reading your secrets. Training was actually pretty fun for once because you guys had some pretty great secrets and you made it really entertaining and wow, that was just really nice. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do secrets again because, you know, I don't want to make this training video super boring and it makes it really, it makes it interesting when people tell you their secrets. Thanks for watching. Bye!